have you ever wondered what the biggest record deals are, of all time? Over the years the music industry has built massive artists that have gained international stardom and loyal fan bases. All these artists have accomplished this with the help of major labels and record deals. This is Gold Island Music, and here are the 10 biggest record deals of all time, ranked. Starting with number 10. Prince. $100 million in 1992. Prince Rogers Nelson, later called the artist formerly known as Prince, and the artist, took in more than Michael Jackson or Madonna in his deal with Warner Bros which came after his hugely successful Batman soundtrack for the company. But the brilliant late musician frequently battled with his label for control of his music and identity. Number 9. Whitney Houston. $100 million in 2001. Houston signed the biggest deal in the history of label Arista at the time, with a multi-album contract. Sadly, this would be the start of a downward spiral for the artist, who managed to release only three more albums before she died in 2012. Number 8. Madonna. $120 million in 2012. Similar to its deal with Jay-Z, Live Nation in its 360 deal, paid for not just Madonna's future albums, which continue to sell, but also for rights to promoting her high ticket world tours. Number 7. Robbie Williams. $125 million in 2002. The second largest deal for a British artist goes to Robbie Williams. Though he might not seem so relevant now, he was a certified heartthrob back at the turn of the millennium, who had a golden touch when it came to selling records. After he signed the deal, EMI got his biggest international hit to date, Feel. Number 6. Adele. $130 million in 2016. Adele has the largest recording deal for a Briton and for a woman. After breaking every record in sight with sales of her album, 25, and given her cross-generational appeal, we'd say she deserves it. Number 5. Bruce Springsteen. $150 million in 2005. Several decades into his career, the boss and his E Street Band are still able to reach the top of Billboard's albums chart, which is good news for Columbia, which gave them a blockbuster-sized deal for recordings a little over a decade ago. Number 4. Jay-Z. $150 million in 2008. Live Nation grabbed the biggest name in rap at the time for a hefty sum, but it wasn't just for his albums. The company gets a stake in his investments and acquisitions, publishing rights, and money from his highly lucrative tours. Number 3. Lil Wayne. $150 million in 2012. The rapper, who has been signed to Cash Money Records since he was 11 years old, has inked a deal with the label to put out another four albums under his Young Money imprint. Number 2. U2. $200 million in 1993. The self-proclaimed biggest band in the world really was that, for a time. Following the massive success of the Joshua Tree and Acting Baby, Polydor signed the band for a massive sum even by today's standards. Number 1. Michael Jackson. $250 million in 2010. The deal was signed after Jackson's death, but his estate's contract with Sony Music gives the label rights to his indisputable catalog, including reissues, as well as any posthumous new releases, like 2014's Escape, which managed to land at number two on US charts. Here is a notable mention, and now reportedly one of the biggest deals in music history. Drake is a certified millionaire, and a recent deal with Universal just made him $400 million richer. According to Variety, the Scorpion King's deal with Universal was completed in 2021, though details are just now beginning to emerge about the extent of the deal. The outlet reports that Aubrey Graham was issued a check for $400 million in a deal that includes everything from song recordings to visual projects. This has been Gold Island Music with the biggest record deals of all time. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Follow Gold Island Music on Instagram for more music updates. Thank you for watching.